Hey guys, welcome to my How to Platinum Resident Evil 4 video. This game is absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend that you play it and it is regarded as the best in the series by many fans and publications. Personally, I loved it. It is my game of the year so far and definitely easily in my top five platinums I have ever earned. This game will take you many different playthroughs to achieve the shiny platinum and some of these playthroughs will then unlock items and weapons that you can use to further aid your more difficult playthroughs. The game is rated at around six to seven out of 10. There are no multiplayer trophies. It will take you around 50 to 70 hours to complete and requires around six playthroughs. I think though, as you play it and once you get the hang of it, it becomes more of a five out of 10 and I've included links to various trophy guides in the description below. So let's start with the trophy breakdown. There are four golds, 10 silvers, and 25 bronze trophies. I've broken them down into these categories. There are six trophies related to story. There are nine trophies related to playthroughs. There are seven trophies related to collectibles. And out of the collectibles, there is one strand that carries over through all of your playthroughs, and that is destroying the 16 Clockwork Castilians which are toys that are darted around the map. There's normally one per chapter. Three trophies are related to the shooting gallery. Four are miscellaneous trophies. Six trophies are related to combat. And there are four trophies related to the merchant and upgrades. So let's talk about the different playthroughs that has to be done. So there are trophies linked to the following and you don't have to do one playthrough per per item you can combine them so you can do two or three of these in one go so we're going to have to do a playthrough where we do not talk to the merchant we do not use a healing item a playthrough where you only use handguns and knives only playthrough on normal achieving the s rank and that is to finish the game within five hours on new game not new game plus you then have to do the exact same on hardcore difficulty achieving an s plus rank this is to finish the game within five and a half hours on new game, not new game plus. These two trophies do not stack, so you have to do both playthroughs. We'll then do a playthrough on professional getting the S plus rank so that we can unlock the Chicago sweeper weapon, which will help us on other playthroughs. There is a trophy for finishing the game under eight hours, which is not something you have to worry about because you're going to achieve that anyway. And then we can do a playthrough where we do professional on new game without using any bonus weapons. This is to unlock the hand cannon, which I'll mention a bit later. So now let's discuss the bonus unlocks you get from various playthroughs. There are five items in particular that I'm going to go through here which are really important to unlock so there is a trophy for getting all of the weapons in the game all of which can be achieved most of which can be achieved by finding them or buying them during your playthroughs there are three weapons though that you have to unlock so starting with the primal knight you unlock this by destroying all of the 16 clock castilian collectibles the advantage to the primal knife is that it can be upgraded to be completely indestructible which will really help you on your harder difficulty playthroughs next we have the chicago sweeper which is a machine gun you have to finish professional with an a rank or above to unlock this this gun has an exclusive upgrade where you get infinite ammo and you don't even need to reload the gun so this is perfect to use when you do the hardcore and standard s plus rank playthroughs it's a really really handy weapon And the last weapon to unlock is the hand cannon. There are two different ways that you can unlock this. The first and possibly easiest way being get an S rank on all three mercenary modes, or you can do it the way I did, which is to finish professional on new game with no bonus or special weapons. Then these next two items are super important, starting with Ashley Armor. So you have to finish the game on either hardcore mode or professional with an A rank or higher. You can then equip Ashley with, with her armor and this basically makes her invincible. And most important of all, she cannot be picked up and taken away by enemies. You will definitely want to unlock this and use this before you do your professional new game playthrough. And the last really important item to unlock is the chicken hat. This, when equipped, makes you take less damage when wearing it and is an absolute must for the professional new game playthrough 
to get it, you must finish hardcore with an S plus rank. So now we come on to the ideal plan and way to attack this game. And I've broken it down into six playthroughs. You can do it in less. I did it in more, but I think that this is the most uh, streamlined way of getting the platinum in this game. So your first playthrough, you can play on either assisted or standard mode. You collect all of the collectibles. You destroy all of the clockwork Castilians. You get as many miscellaneous trophies as you can, and you complete all of the merchant requests in one playthrough. The second playthrough, we do new game plus on assisted mode, and we do the following parameters. Handguns and knives only, no healing, and do not talk to the merchant, and do your best to get as much money as possible. The third playthrough, we will do new game plus on professional, the hardest difficulty. By now, you would have collected enough money from your first two playthroughs to buy the infinite rocket launcher, which is only available on new game plus. You then want to complete this playthrough under seven hours. This will unlock the Chicago Sweeper and Ashley's Armor. On to our fourth playthrough, we're going to do hardcore and get the S plus rank by completing it within five and a half hours on new game. On this, what you're going to do is use the Chicago Sweeper, the Chicken Hat and Ashley's Armor. You're going to collect 30 spinels by doing merchant requests so that you can, so that by the time you get to the castle, you can upgrade the Chicago Sweeper to be infinite ammo. This will really help the run as you can just keep shooting away at enemies. Our fifth playthrough is similar to the fourth, but a bit easier. It's going to be done on standard difficulty. We're going to achieve the S plus rank by completing the game within five hours on new game. And again, you're going to use the chicken hat, Ashley's armor, and you're going to use the Chicago sweeper, complete merchant requests, collect 30 spinels so that you can then upgrade the Chicago sweeper to be unlimited ammo by the time you get to the cost. Onto the sixth playthrough and we're just going to do professional on new game you cannot use any bonus weapons with this you can still use the chicken hat for leon and you can still use ashley's armor this in my opinion is actually the funnest playthrough because by now you know the game pretty much off by heart and you should know which weapons that you prefer so you can focus on upgrading those with this playthrough it's just a matter of taking your time and if you don't have enough ammo to spare you can run through a lot of enemies if need be but make sure you're looting a lot to get as much ammo and treasures as possible lastly i just want to go through quickly recommended weapons so in the three big categories pistol shotgun and rifle so starting with the pistol the weapon i would recommend the most to invest in is the blacktail this is the best all-round gun as it delivers high damage and if you purchase the exclusive upgrade, it makes the damage even more powerful with a total power of 3.6. The gun also takes up only four squares in your inventory cache, which comes in handy when you start to collect lots of resources and health items. The ammo capacity is only 13, but its reload speed and rate of fire make up for this. My recommended shotgun is the riot gun. This is comfortably and easily my favorite gun in the game. It has a tight spread, so it makes it very good at mid to long range as well. When you fully upgrade the power, it is 12.8. And if you purchase the exclusive upgrade, it makes the damage even more powerful with a total power of 19.2. Total ammo capacity is 12 and the reload speed is six, which makes it a very efficient, highly powerful gun. You can damage multiple enemies with it. Try and save your ammo for the bigger and harder enemies. And then lastly, the rifle, my recommended weapon would be the Stingray. This is a sniper rifle and when you attach the scope, it is absolutely great for picking off long distance enemies and focusing on headshots. The total power is 4.90. Total ammo capacity is 18. And if you purchase the exclusive upgrade, it makes the fire rate increase by two, which makes it easier to pick off enemies quickly, especially when facing a group of enemies that are quite close to you. So that is my how to Platinum Resident Evil 4. I highly recommend this game. 
Um, if you're new to the series, you can play Resident Evil 4 without having to play any of the previous games. There's barely any references to the other games, so it is very standalone. It's more of the action horror genre rather than survival horror. So if you're a fan of third person shooters, you will feel right at home with this game. When I first started playing it, I played it for fun. I wasn't really confident that I could get the platinum because there were so many different playthroughs. It was quite a big game and I wasn't sure if I could complete it on the highest difficulties. But as you keep playing it, as you start learning how enemies behave and um, what weapons to use and what weapons work best for your style of play, the platinum gets a lot easier. As I said at the start of the video, this game is absolutely phenomenal and it is easily so far my game of the year and I think it might end up being my game of the year. It's very fun to replay. You may think that six playthroughs is a lot. In the end, I did eight playthroughs and I still enjoyed my final one. I could pick it up today and play the game again. It just has a certain quality to it that makes you want to keep playing it again and again, playing it in different ways, um, using all of the different weapons that are at your disposal. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And in general, if I'm helping you get your platinum numbers up, please help me get my subscriber numbers up and subscribe to the channel. It would really help and support this channel to keep making more and more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and catch you on the next one. Take care.